Queda otro infinito. Okay, so there is a small delay, but hey, welcome to the 200th episode of Sodus Nation podcast. And uh, to celebrate, obviously, we're doing this live, almost like the one we did at WorkbenchCon, but we're all in our respective little uh, places. Uh, hopefully next year, if we do, or was it, yeah, when we do the 300th episode, we all get together. But uh, without further ado, in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like Vegas. Anyway. Uh, no one likes in Vegas. I'm Josh from North Country Woodworking. From that, from that. And I am Tim Tennessee. from yeah. Gears and Fire. Hey, I guess, I don't know what just happened there, but okay. I'm, I'm trying to do this picker wheel thing and stuff, so I wasn't looking at the screen. <laughs> We're all here. Hey, should we try that again? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So I'm Josh from North Country Woodworking. And I'm Matt from North Country Woodworking. So, mother... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The fun part is, I'll just is that last. this is scripted. I'll just be like... <laughs> <laughs> So I'm Josh from North Country Woodworking. We have Nat from Nat Sunday Works LLC, and then we have Tim from Gears and Fire. Um, there we go. Wait, we got that out. We have we haven't done this before, folks. Look at all. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, normally our patrons get all the extra stuff, like all the outtakes and all the craziness. Uh, yeah, so that's part of the stuff you get. Uh, like little A bunch of trained moments. weasels, folks. Trained weasels. Pretty much. Well, I do want to thank our Patreons, everyone here today. Um, it's been 200 episodes. Yes, some of you might be confused, but we're episode ahead. Uh, what you're seeing is essentially the live, and we're going to post this not this Thursday, but the next Thursday for everyone that's not here. Um, and then we have a nice episode popping up uh, this Thursday from last week. Um, so that explains a little bit of there. Uh, today, let's kind of go over what we'll be giving away throughout the episode. Um, we're not just going to be doing a huge giveaway, one, two, three, four, five, but it'll be sprinkled throughout. That way we can catch everybody. Um, you do have to be here to win, and you have to be subscribed to our channel. So pretty easy, um, you know, to sit back, relax, listen uh, to the episode, and get ready for a pretty stout giveaway. Um, starting off, uh, Stan from Los Angeles Franklin. He joins us today. He's in the chat. So say hi if you see him. But he gave us eight mallets. Hi, Stan. Four round mallets and four square. Now, he donated all these. And wow. they're absolutely gorgeous. I have had actually have one of each from him. And I've been using them for, I don't know, last couple of years. And they've held up real well. Those look real pretty. They're solid, and I tell you what, um, it took a lot of work to accomplish that. So, thank you, Stan, for that. Um, so we have Greg from Platte Valley Woodworks. He's donating a 3D or leaf shaped catch all tray, and that's going to be like a maple leaf that's upside down catch all tray. Um, he showed me some pictures, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so make a great addition to your home. Thank you. He's also in the chat, so thank him. Um, and then t our own very old Tim, Timothy, from Gears and Fire, he's going to do a round maple cribbage board that can be customized, much like Similar the way he's holding this. up. Instead of Robertson, it'll be whatever you want. It could be your logo. Just let me know. We'll figure out the details, and we'll get that sent in your direction. And then uh, Ed from Oak Ridge Woodworks. Um, I'm not seeing him in their chat, but I'm sure he'll show up. He's in there. I saw him. Uh, okay. Um, thank him because he's donating a French cleat sandpaper organizer and it's made um, by a glimpse inside. So I think he's utilizing those plans and he's uh, making that. So thank nice. him. And then Nap and I both agreed we're going to donate a custom uh, shop sign, one each. So he'll do one and I do one and uh, we'll work with you to kind of customize that for your shop. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to be giving away during this episode. Um, you know, upcoming episodes, we do have stuff uh, where we're going to be giving away um, lives like normal. Um, other than Christmas, I think this is the last abnormal live we're going to have throughout the, uh, the season. Um, I got to look ahead at the calendar and make sure nothing falls on a holiday. But if it does, we'll let you guys know. As always, you can find the lives uh, located in our link tree so that uh, they're easy to find. And if you're a Patreon, um, well, 
pretty much can find them right in the Patreon. So that being said, let's go ahead and uh, are you ready now to give away the first item? No. Okay. So you give me the thumbs up. <laughs> it's all right, so poor Nav is tasked with putting all your names in there. And if you're a Patreon, you get double entries. Um, so it is worth being a Patreon. That being said, the reason we can do our giveaways and continue the podcast is because of our sponsors and Patreon. Um, so huge thank you to all of them. Uh, we love you guys and we're really thankful to our main sponsor, PWN CNC and uh everything they do for us so okay now all that stuff's out of the way tim how the hell are you what's going on in your shop <laughs> i'm doing all right like i said i got another uh bunch of curbage boards in the queue which is pretty exciting so i mean kind of see the in the works process so i just got aura mass got the top cut out so obviously the bottom was cut off with the top you know I'm using my downtown jetty bit to do all this stuff, and it's still a little bit fuzzy on the inside. I don't know if I'm going too fast or what, but hmm. or maybe the maybe the uh, tool path is just too small that it can't not be fuzzy. But like, I don't want to like hit it with like a toothbrush or something like that, because like then the aura mask would peel up. So the thought is, you know, now that it's cut, I just spray it with black spray paint, peel it off, and then Bob's yard. No, obviously, it still needs the curbage board holes. That's next in the process here. But so you said, Josh, you said you use a downtown Jenny. Like, do you get lots of fuzzy stuff inside? The um, with his bits, pad? I don't get as much uh, fuzzy as I used to with uh, Mana and different other bits. Um, right. Because it's really on the geometry of his bits and how he uh, plans those. Um, oh, I agree. It's, it is much better. Absolutely. <laughs> So if you don't know, you guys listening, downtown, downtown Jenny's are from Cadence Manufacturing and Design. Um, Cody over there makes them um, out of a shop, well, his larger shop. And uh, yes. yeah, if you ever tried them, support them, buy one, and you get hooked. You'll be a Jenny fan. Because like this is the uh, not Jenny version I was using, and this is just a just a fuzzy mess. I don't use that. This is now an ornament for those that can appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's an ornament. I actually um, have news wait. on the whole lathe uh, side. I'll share later on. <laughs> but, I mean, I did also just recently buy because my other quarter quarter inch down cut is like stuck in the old router. I got to get a, a cheap bar on it just to get it out. But I did buy a new one. This is the Amana version. It is It was like 35 bucks, but I have a feeling it's going to be a better cut in the long run, at least so I hope. But it seems like the down cut seems to be uh, um, my go-to rather than the up cut because I'm lazy and I don't want to switch out bits. So maybe that's <laughs> why some of my other cuts get a little squirrely. I'm not really sure. I don't know how. Di- what's your depth of cut usually? Um, for my mach- for my machine for a general like cutout. Yeah. Uh, depending on the wood, I think I go with about uh, an eighth. Sometimes I go a little further, depending, but usually I stick with an eighth of an inch um, because I can kind of get away with that with pretty much all my material. Uh, but yeah, that's about the. So that's for cut. an up cut. What about your down cut? About the same. The I same? run. Oh. I run the same. Um, just easy math for me. I'm still getting used to used to Vetric, which has all that info in there. Um, so I'm still filling out some of the higher speeds and feeds cause I'm not, I've been running a lot of my bits pretty slow comparatively. Um, Cody, um, has <laughs> talked to me about it and encouraged me to ramp up a little bit. Um, but I've been keeping the death of cup about the same. That way I can kind of see the difference in how the bit handles. Now, to sure. be fair, I do have to purchase some new bits. The bits I've been running for quite a while. His bits last a long time. Um, But during some of my testing, if you will, I did ramp up a little too fast and I've kind of burnt out the bit a little. Um, So I need to go ahead and purchase some more that's on uh, my next uh, shopping cart list, I guess. But you have a spindle though, too. Like, I have a feeling like because you have a spindle, you can push it a little harder than like a. I can definitely push. Yeah. 
a little harder, but I have to be careful. Um, so my spindle can outperform my actual machine and my stepper motors and my belts. So uh, as that being said, if I don't want to absolutely destroy my machine, I have to be within reason. And it's not at this point in time, um, I'm not such a production shop where I need to worry about like minutes, you know, cutting right. down in some hours is nice, but like uh, minutes I can deal with. If it's going to be uh, between a uh, 10 to 15 minute cut, because I go a little bit slower, then it's going to be a 15 minute cut. All right. Yeah, like I said, I'm just using this is the one from that it's like 80 bucks. You can get it from the like carbide 3D. It's a 65 millimeter. Um, I mean, it has decent speed control, but the problem with this guy is like it got so tight in here that I, when I tried, you know, it's got like this little button. Well, it had a little button that engages the spindle. Well, as you can see, that casing just came right off. Mm -hmm. That sucker shot. But so then I bought a new one, and then on the site they have an eighty dollar version, which is what this is. Then they have a hundred and fifty dollar version, and the only difference that I learned recently is the eighty dollar version. This one, you cannot use an ER eleven collet system. You have to use the standard cheapo run of the mill. Ah, uh, that could be dangerous. Crappy collet. Well, it sucks <laughs> because like I really I you know I bought ER eleven collets. And now I can't use them because I thought that I could just use them with this current spindle. So I went yesterday, went down the whole Google rabbit hole of the ER11 system, and I learned everything there is to know about the ER11 system. There's ER11A and ER11M. ER11A system uses this hex nut in a normal wrench. The ER11M has got like that bottom claw wrench. Yeah. The mini or whatever. So. Yeah, yesterday was an educational day to say the least. But when I was running a spindle, sucks. I went with the bottom claw wrench because I thought it was a better. Uh, I I just I liked it better, but yeah, it's. I mean, honestly, I think, like I found one website where, like, depending on which collar you set up, it actually tells you how tight you can wrench it. Um, I don't remember which one gave you a tighter fit, but there is a difference between the two. Um. I guess like I'd like to stick with a normal wrench setup mm -hmm. just because it's a little bit more universal. If I lose this wrench or it breaks, I can get on it with a crescent wrench if I need to. No, you're not like wrong. I'm... That that type of situation. So but so now I have to because I'm stubborn, I'm gonna use the my new one until it dies before I get an ER eleven setup, which is unfortunate. Because like I can't unless I can send this one back, which I don't think I can because I've already used it. Unless I can send that one back, I don't think I'm going to be getting uh, in the R11 system anytime soon. <laughs> oh, well. Nice. Well, I mean, at least you're working on the problem. You educated yourself. You had you know your options, which means you can help other people when they come across the same issue. Yeah. Or, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you can, you know, go spindle, but I mean, I know what's in the car. Well, so that's that's the thing. Like, I mean, if I'm gonna really upgrade, it's gonna be a whole different machine. Like, right? To I hear you. <laughs> that's where I'm at. I have upgraded my machines to the point where there's no further upgrades that I am comfortable doing, um, knowing my machine's capability. So, like, the next upgrade will be a machine. So, actually, that I can do like a shameless plug. If anybody needs an ER11A setup with four four nuts and two er11 collets hit me up i will make you a good deal on that <laughs> it's an eighth inch collet and a quarter inch collet there you go heard it here first but look at that so yeah Just what are you working on there buddy or um oh well. Map is uh, still hard at work. I can tell by the serious <laughs> NCO face. Leave me alone while I navigate these waters. Senior <laughs> NCO fool. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Get it right or Sorry. Pay the price. Don't anyway, <laughs> you're not demoted. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I don't wish that hit on you, man. Um, so currently in the shop, let's see. What do I have going on? Um, so I finished a plaque. I got that out the door. It was for a retirement. Um, 
it was a very interesting plaque. It was uh, it was half of a flag. It had a set of lungs and heart engraved uh, a patch on it. It had a KC-135 outline on it. It had uh, a patch, and they wanted me to engrave a uh, challenge coin back and forth on it. And then um, an additional... Um, plaque so i mean it was there was quite a few engravings um i got to utilize uh v carve uh for not for the first time but like for a flag uh at least on uh vetric and my new not new setup but new old setup if that makes any sense and yep. i tell you the stars look better um i still gotta kind of tweak it a little bit and i'm not gonna lie i'm i, I again i gotta get uh um what was a 60 degree from uh cody but like uh my 60 degree the blade the very tip of it is just like it got snapped a little so it oh, like no. it did the stars but it's not a perfect point um so i kind of had to deal with that a little bit but it turned out okay instead of a point it's got kind of like a raised flat point right yeah just a little bit i mean just yeah. enough where it doesn't give you that nice sharp um profile um so I should have probably went with uh, my 90 degree and that would have kind of helped me out. But um, lessons learned, you know, it's one of those things. I, I'm i like, why isn't it giving me that sharp point? I looked and that tip was gone. So you can't just say just the tip when it's gone. <laughs> because there is no tips. Exactly. Problem, kids. Uh, so we got that out the door. Um, it was delivered. They absolutely loved it. They wanted to work with me more. And that's local too. So no shipping. Thank God um and then um i'm taking yeah, a grand a grandfather clock and a nap actually when it was here helped me take it apart and, and basically stripping everything that was on it all the finish and the stain and uh, from all the detail and we're gonna turn it to a decor box you know it's gonna be smaller decor box the bottom half at least and then the top i'm taking all the mechanical pieces and i'm cleaning those because i'm gonna put those in epoxy and then put a clock, new clock face on it. And it's going to sit on like um, a desk. It's going to be fairly large. It's going to be about uh, two feet, you know, long. About the height of it is probably going to be a foot or so. Just enough for the clock face. But um, talked about this before on the podcast. Um, I've been hesitant to go ahead and do uh, the epoxy because it's full of dust in there right now. Um, so it's kind of that... Uh, it's kind of one of those things where I'm just trying to play it right so I don't get a bunch of dust in my epoxy. Um, sure. But uh, I should be able to complete that here coming up. I'll be completing a round shadow box for the Navy, uh, Navy vet. Hey, um, the I, Navy. I just got the stuff in from them so I can go ahead and do that. And then unfortunately, shipping, um, I got a package returned to me. Um, you too. So yeah it, it was i don't hmm. long story short they didn't give me the real name because of a uh three letter agency they're in in the air force um for whatever reason and uh when i got it back he's like yeah here's the real name i put the real name on there and it's coming out you know today tomorrow well probably tomorrow at this point um so we'll get that worked on but i did get a huge package in from stan the lost saver franken franklin woodworks there um and that's all those mountains behind me which i don't know if you guys can see or not so many mountains over here so much they all come from amazon <laughs> no all handmade <laughs> look at that all sitting <laughs> back there nice and pretty i was i was noticing the amazon boxes oh <laughs> uh, well he did send it see that's the package that came back and i think that's the package he sent the stuff in and i, like I have it. some I have some, um, was a micro uh, seed back there for my yard. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and plant that. But yeah, it's been a uh, been busy. I time traveled. I don't know if you guys ever done this, where you think you're on a certain day and it's really the next week on a different day. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't like losing time like that. I mean, yeah, I um, missed something really important. Well, no, I didn't miss anything. They were asking me what I did. And I, I couldn't remember oh. if I did it this week or if I did it last week. And it was just like, 
all time merged at the same time. And I'm like, I know, I don't know. I know I did this, that, and the other thing. I couldn't tell you when I did it. So busy. Oh, Been so. busy. Okay. There are a lot of people in chat right now. Yep. And I've got I some picture wheel ready with as many of the folks as I caught. People have jumped Good. in and out. And for some reason, since there's 14, I only saw five names now, but I do have a lot of names in the picker wheel. So, Okay, good. If you're here, push here, because we're going to do a giveaway for a mallet in about 10 seconds. Oh, push here? Like, type it? Or, like, I'm here? I'm here. If you raise your hand, we're not going to be able to tell, man. Yep, I got Keith. Keith! What's going Let's on, see man? People are paying attention. Greg, I Jason. Got Donald, I do have Joey, got AJ, got Ed, Victor. AJ, new dad in the house. Martin, is yeah. there got Scott, Anita, I got Jeremy, I got Scott Anderson. Anita. I've got Custom Hiko. We have two Scots. All right, all right. Yes, we know. Greg. Scott. Okay, so check it out. All right, if it happens to be your, um, your giveaway on, on the old giveaway list here that's up and you win it we'll respin <laughs> uh-huh. yeah i won my own wood if, yeah how about this if you win if you donated something and you win on that spin what do you guys will vote here loud and clear we'll give you a gift card to a woodworking store of your choice and a yes. crisp high five the next time i meet you in person huh. yeah bro all right, here we go. All right. I've got like 16 million windows open. So, um, yeah. <laughs> How many Peter of them crash. are actually appropriate? <laughs> oh, no, they're all appropriate. I mean, a lot of what? wood. A lot of wood okay. is being shown. Um, but no, anyways. It's a quote unquote family show. Yeah, right. Now, I've got a Vectric 12, 12 up on my computer. I've got Spotify. I've got at least 15 to 20. Uh, web browser windows open between Soda Station podcast stuff, the picker wheel, and all the things. So, yeah. All right. So, let's go ahead and get a number in the chat there so I can uh, go ahead and sort this thing a couple times and I'm going to spin. Uh, what are we giving away first, Josh? We're going to be giving away a mallet. This beautiful mallet right here. Stan, everybody call it. Made from Stan, boss, State of Franklin. And uh, he turned this himself. Five, five, five. five Joey okay. says five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, shuffled and I'm spinning. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Very economic. I hope Ed likes wood because Ed from Oak Ridge won a mallet. <laughs> cool. We'll write him down. Ed, first win of the night. I think. Hey, actually, hold on, Ed. This is like the first or second thing you've won from us in all the times you've watched us live. Because <laughs> normally it's freaking it's Ducky and his damn, uh, or sorry, it's Ducky and his orca <laughs> abrasives. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we haven't seen Ducky in a while. Don't scare him off now. Okay. All right, hold on. I'm actually going to show this as well. I, I messed up and didn't share my screen. So hold on. Whoa. Share screen. Screen. Pick it. And where's the picture? Don't be right? sad, guys. There's plenty where it stands wood to go around, so stay tuned. It's all nice and hard, too. This is hard. Hello! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Cool. So I got that. Got all the stuff on the side there. Oh, okay. Tay. Let's give one more away and we can get, continue on talking. Cool. All mm-hmm. right, so we're going for another. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's play a game. We want to play a game? I like games. Okay, so I'm going to write a number in the chat that we share here on our recording. And the first person to get close to that gets to pick what the next giveaway item is. Okay. That... So I'm going gonna... to, it's going to be, <laughs> right, Tim, do you... Ed won a mallet from you uh, the first time. <laughs> the second time he got another mallet. Heck yeah. He's just not. So uh, number one to 10, if you get the closest person, Guess to pick what we give away next. One to ten. It has to be an integer. Really? No, okay. No, got it. Ass. I've already I've already put the number in our chat. Don't I'll we make it rules? I've seen it. 
All right. Come on, let's go. Put a number in the chat. Uh, one to ten. <laughs> one to ten. Keep this in mind. <laughs> My God. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Uh, Will anybody hit a nail on the head? Anybody yep. have Nothing square. so far. Come on. Six, <laughs> six point nine. Okay. Okay. The closest. I'll this... give it one more second. There's only a few numbers left. Seven is not it. I just let you guys know right away. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody missed it. I love it. Absolutely. Um, well, the closest is... Custom Unico. Oh, yep. Custom Unico. We'll call it there. So go ahead and you get to pick what we're going to give away next. Um, we could do another mallet. We could do the leaf-shaped catch-all tray. Uh, Tim's round maple cribbage board. Ed's uh, French cleat sim paper organizer. Or a shop sign from me or Nat. A Josh flavored shop sign or a Nat flavored shop sign. Not gonna be flavored. Very, don't don't do not chew or put in your mouth. Products. Oh God. Uh, I could have said something completely different to make it that much worse. So we were. I know. Okay, I just know. pick one. God bless America. <laughs> well, uh, them decide that. But uh, Nat, yeah. what's going on in your shop, dude? Nothing next bs i know what's <laughs> going on in your shop you cannot play that game uh no honestly man uh it's a little bit of everything it just seems like it's not a bad thing like it never stops but definitely um spacing my orders out a little bit more but i'm working on a three foot by two foot trunk slash chest table thing for cheap um i have to make the internals still which is the shadow box tray uh, but outside of that, the outside is finished. I've, I've showed a story uh, of it on my Instagram. Uh, so it's coming on well. It's oak for anybody that might have been wondering. Uh, I stained some, some other oak to make trim for it. Uh, I just got to put two, four, five pieces of trim on it. And then I have to sand some filler off and then restain the areas that were um, sanded away. Uh, and then... After that, I have to finish this dang coin rack that's sitting over here. Um, so I did something stupid. And I didn't put my 3M adhesive stuff on the back of my acrylic before I cut it. And then I sat there and I tried to try to make it work. It did not. So um, in an effort to make myself just start over on that particular piece... Uh, I may or may not have uh, crushed it, so uh, I make sure. I did not see that coming. To be honest, the way you were acting, I thought you absolutely destroyed it. <laughs> oh no, no, no! So I legitimately took it and I smashed it into pieces with my hands, um, because I've noticed that if I dwell on things too long and I think I can fix it, or I find different ways of trying to fix it, I waste more time than I could have been spending on another project while I wait for materials to show up at my house. So yeah. I, I crushed it, and uh, yeah, it's no longer usable. It's in the trash somewhere. So remaking that, I'll let the customer know. He's like, honestly, he's like, because uh, he's a metal maker, or a metal sign maker himself, um, and he's been remaking things as well at his shop. He's like, yo, no, I get it. Uh, I've been doing a lot of remakes myself lately. I was like, yeah, I don't know what it is about things. It's like that, that what is it? The want for perfection, or at least close to it, because nothing's ever perfect. <laughs> uh, and, and we, we drive ourselves mad and we end up remaking things. So all I've left is legitimately to make the little acrylic. Uh, his name, the guy's called Sparky. It's um, a metal uh, fabrication guy uh, that they have in the metal career field. So i got to make that still and then send that on its way. I have 200 coasters to make. I'm not really excited Holy about that. Crap. I'm not really excited about that one. Uh, but they're a quarter inch thick, so I'm not really, not not like too mad about it. The so the is finish, that all laser work? The coasters is that just laser work? Pretty much. So I'm gonna buy. Okay. I need to buy a new saw blade for my bandsaw, so I can um, resaw four, uh, four by four panels essentially. Well, it'll be like four by four by four inches by four feet maybe, and I'll just push a four foot section through. And then I'll just start and I'll cut those on the table saw and make a jig and, you know, send them through a bunch of times. So, uh, but it'll probably be 20 a day for 10 days. Just so I'll drive myself absolutely crazy. And we're going, uh, 
Okay, so also we want to give away Josh's sign. Uh, hey, and... Sign I'll build for you, custom made. Yep. So let's let's uh, if you want to pause, man, we can go ahead and give that yep. away real quick. So um, hopefully you guys are all here. If you're new and just came into this, write your name here so we can yeah. go get you down. Sorry, if you've been it. here, then you should be good to go. Um, and with that, we need another number. A reasonable number. One to ten. Yeah, and then as Jason said in the chat, however many watchers we have, we need to pick a number that's close to that. So. <laughs> 17 All right, cool. watching. I see no right. number. I'm just going to spin this thing. Yo, DJ, spin that wheel. Wait, hold on. Am I... I'm in the live so we're going to be giving away a sign Seven. from myself, custom made for you. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 it oh, weighs oh, two oh. and three. Two, three, and four for the next ones. Yep. Oh. 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 It's Jason. It's Jason. He's going to sign from Josh. It's a says 500. 500 new. No. Okay, listen here, AJ. About new. No. I understand okay. you're the father, and numbers are a hard thing right now, but 500 is a little He's crazy. so sleep deprived, he pushed a zero zero <laughs> after accidentally. Congrats, man. I'll get with you. We'll make you a custom shop sign of your choice. Boom. Um, I have Anyways. so many ideas for an RCH sign. I just can't see them <laughs> online. Um, but yeah, so shops go well though. So we got the coasters. Uh, what else, what, what, <laughs> broken. Else, what else am I making though? Oh yeah. So I've got um I got a three another three D shadow box I'm making. Uh that so I'm gonna take cool. a I'm taking a three D file and I'm gonna split it in half and then extend it to make the width of the box that they want, but they wanted the level of detail of 3D carving. So I'm making like a three and a half foot tall um, missile badge uh, for an individual. Uh, so you can put a bunch of his stuff in there. Uh, and then I have the nice. Coast Guard shadow box I need to make. Still, um, I'm going to start that. So pretty much after this week, and this chest is out of the house, and this coin rack is like in a box ready to ship. Uh, <laughs> splitting hairs. Oh, uh, I'm going to uh, get started on the next shadow boxes. I actually had an inquiry on, uh, so I, I did a miscarve, um, I want to say about a month or two ago. I was supposed to make a senior mass sergeant shadow box. Uh, well, the mass sergeant shadow box is what I cut by accident. But while I was making the legs and stuff for the senior mass sergeant one, I went ahead and made the legs for the mass sergeant one. So now I have a kit, so to speak, sitting on the top shelf over here uh, in my office. And someone inquired about, well, uh, buying one, and they asked for some dimensions, which I actually just reminded myself, I need to send them the viewing dimensions, you know, not the overall, because I gave them overall dimensions. Um, and I might be able to use something I made a while back, and uh, yeah, get them a shadow box. It's kind of cool, because it's already it's like 50% done, so that means 50 more percent, you know, left to uh, make some money real quick, so. 50% of the time? All the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, if you can get... Oops, yeah. Um, but yeah. And if he does, we're here for a minute. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I'm just going to sit here and just click a bunch of times and say, yeah, that's totally 500. Wait, there's no, like, you can't type in, like, spin this many times? Mm, I think I can, but I'd rather not. Fair enough. We don't have names as limited functionality. Yeah. <laughs> well, you wouldn't even see the names until they pulled it up. So it'd be kind of funny if uh, if it legitimately sat there and just kept spinning and spinning. You'd just see nothing but a colorful blur. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, but anyway, shop's going good, though. I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm still recovering from last week's shenanigans. Uh, I realize why. Are you, are you swole now? No, I'm sore and just tired um, someone's realizing yeah. their age 
That's yeah. what's happening here. Well, so so here's the funny thing, right? So in what we did last week for we I worked ten straight days, not mine. Now mind you, that ain't that ain't nothing, right? I've worked longer days uh, in the desert. However, um, when you were younger, yeah, when I was younger, um, but we had ten days of twelve hour shifts doing stuff on the flight line, and it was our crew and then a bunch of other crews. And it's crews of four people. Well, it was a, the oldest crew out there. We're all thirty plus. And uh, we smoked all the young kids in, in their job, which we rightfully so we should, uh, because we're the experts. But uh, that doesn't always you have experience. Well, you got wisdom, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <you> well, <laughs> when they talk all the smack in the world and you shut them up, it's great. Um, like, how are you old people going to outload us? I'm like, well, we can show you how that's going to work, and what well, we did. So, uh, yeah. So it took us. The, the time standard is something like, I think, well, so the, the timeline is like eight hours. We did it. We had the stuff up on the aircraft in two hours and 13 minutes, I think is what it was. And then through the entirety of the thing, I think it was four or three hours, 40 minutes. And then for all actions, it was like five hours. So, I mean, we, 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 we smoked the time limit. Nice, and uh, I think we we ruffled some feathers because they most definitely were trying to nitpick every little thing we were doing wrong. And I was like, "We, it's not wrong." I was like, "Go ahead, write me up. I'll take that right up." <laughs> it's not wrong when it feels so right. Yeah, so outside of that, but anyways, all that to say is a lot of it's very physical. Um, we pushed oh, seven hundred pound. Uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> Um, I don't know if he knows what he just wrote is a button or he, not. But... He, he knows exactly what he did there. Uh, but uh, I realized that pushing weight at like 700 pound doors in uh, 29, you know, knots and holding a uh, wind, which by the way, there's no effing way it was 29 and holding. Uh, we pushed doors into the wind, which added at least 200 more pounds. So four of us pushing those up. And doing all that, and then bringing them back down without hurting each other, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely showed that I'm not young anymore. That's for sure. You just don't move around as much as you used to. That's why your body feels it. Yeah. Well, he still moves around, but not at that <laughs> speed and intensity. Yeah. So the shop has been like yesterday. I didn't even go to the shop. I like walked in there. I was like, no, not today. <laughs> I went back inside and just relaxed. Um, but then right before the episode, I did some staining and some cutting, and then I'll probably install the last trim pieces tonight, and then tomorrow I'll hit I'll hit the internals of that chest pretty hard uh, because his retirement's Friday. So, so like the piece that you crushed, how do you think it's going to go next time? Uh, do you have a different Do you have a different plan plan of attack? Yeah, I'm going to put the 3M on the back. Uh, hey, so real quick, Jason, um, just noticed something. We went from like 18 people to it says two people watching. There's no I shot. See seven, I see 17 people watching. YouTube's being weird, folks. I, you know, it is. Jason's like, where did everyone go? I was like, what do you mean? I was like, wait, there's like two people here. What's happening? They don't yep, I see 17 watching right now. All right, sick. I'm like, oh, that doesn't look right. Anyway, time for another giveaway. <laughs> All right. So scroll back up, and we're using Martin's number two. So we're going to go shuffle one and two. And here we go. Oh, oh, oh. And look who it is. Yes. What happens when you guys hit 43? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Joey's like, yeah, YouTube's being really stupid. I agree. <laughs> uh, all right. And then we'll go ahead and do, do one more mallet. I'll keep talking about some things and stuff. Uh, we're going to do another mallet. Yep. Yeah, custom. We'll hit it up. Oh, nope. You're still going to stay in there. We're going to shuffle three times. Look at this. Four. Shuffle. This thing, you just damage with this thing. Uh, you really could. Uh, I actually, so I actually have one that uh, Stan made from the hundredth, and it says the hundredth episode at the bottom. 
and oh, and Jeremy Cole wins a piece of scat. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually use it religiously. Uh, and then when Josh's mallet comes out, is when I'm really pissed and I need to really put a smack into some wood and in shot. Yeah. Give it the business. Like it needs, like when it needs some serious weight behind it. Yeah, the the I call it the Thor's hammer. Yeah. Now it's not one of Josh's Thor's hammers, but uh, it's it's a lot bigger than the one that Stan had because Stan's is a smaller smaller block and get it in smaller spaces. I don't feel like I'm going to break anything. Uh, but when I want to break Matt, something, I hit it with Josh. Matt, Matt Wacker. Matt's here. Join us. Oh, yep, look Matt, at the wheel. Matt, ice. Ice, ice, ice. Like this? Your nose, Matt. <laughs> Put Matt Wacky. You got a couple folks from Creators Makers Podcast on here. Heck yeah. Yeah, it says concurrent viewers one, but where our chat rate is at fifty, views at twenty. Right, this is this is yeah, I, yeah, I don't know what's happening, but it's fine. We'll, we'll keep pressing. It's okay. We'll do it. See, like I'd rather have one of those mouths because my main mouth I use is that sugar, like a sand inside. He dances in the shop with it. <laughs> it's random stuff. <laughs> it's my shaker. Second. All right, all right, all right. So I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna go. So um, speaking of Matt, uh, yeah, Matt. So I haven't ordered that new impeller yet because I'm a I'm a I'm a dunce. But what I will tell you is I'm going to order it uh, this week and put it in my dust collection that I built based on some some inspiration I gathered from your shop. Uh, my 55 gallon drum is already full, uh, so I got to let you know how that goes. <laughs> pulling out the old uh, bag of sawdust because something that uh, Matt pointed out, which I didn't even think about until he said something is on the plastic drum that I have. It is, uh, it's got a bevel at the top. Well, if I've got a full bag of sawdust and that bevel's there, how do you think I'm going to get that out without really struggling? So uh, I, I have to leave a little bit of room in the top, which is fine. So when I tie it up, I can shake it and then I'm going to roll the barrel and see how long that takes for me to get that bag of sawdust out. But I feel so, like rather quickly. Let's back up just a little bit for people that were not physically in my shop that now get back to him. Um, so what he suggested is put a garbage bag in and then another garbage bag in. Remember that? Sure. But again. Garbage bag within a garbage bag. Layers but, upon layers. But again, that's not the part I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is the fact that I have a barrel that – is not the same diameter. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. I'm just so, saying, like, for people wondering how you might be doing it and how I'm doing it now. So, sorry. Fair enough. But yeah, Stan yes. says put put wheels on it. Well, yeah, but mm, mm. <laughs> anyway, we have a surprise giveaway. By the way, surprise. Yeah, surprise for. Did you get uh, a it'll message? Be, it'll, no, it'll be the very last, the very very last giveaway. Did you get a message from? Yes. A friend. Yes. Okay. Um, can I, I'm I'm gonna mm, text me to make sure it's what I think it is, um, and then I will give a clue, not a clue as like what it is, but a idea that you might want to get all your friends here. Stat. Well, it's not that big, but. Oh, depends who you ask. I think it's pretty big. <laughs> Perspective, folks. No, this will be. Hey, this, this, we're this scientists will, here, but this will go a long way um, for purchasing something, maybe in the future for, let's say, a CNC or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, no, I'm curious. I don't even know, guys. So it's, I'm also on the outside of surprise. This is fun. Yeah, no, it's great. I love when less people know because I can sit here and torture you. And now Josh is the only one that knows because I sent it to him in his text messages that he still doesn't like oh that. Oh, my God. Because I, I, most, can, I, most, is, I can see previews. I don't need to actually go into it. My God, dude, that is other. <laughs> Everybody, if Josh goes missing in the next week or so, you'll know why. Um, anyway. But anyways, 
But yeah, so we got one more giveaway to add to the list, and we'll we'll do it the very last one. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Um, but anyways. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish the the dust collection is technically finished, but I need to empty it now. It makes me question if I should have gotten a bigger drum. I don't know. I don't think it would have fit, to be honest with you. It's kind of in its perfect corner, and it fits perfectly like right in the inside of the track of my garage door. So, like I said, just better be prepared. That just tells me, though, that I'm collecting more dust. However, I found more ways to make more dust and throw it all over my shop, even though the machines that I have um, are already hooked up to it. But hey, Josh, I'm going to pass over to you because someone decided they just want to call me randomly, and I'm going to tell them that we are recording. Ooh, I, I got things I could talk about. I just got to remember what they are. Anyway, no. So uh, the plaque I was talking about earlier, right? So have you guys ever been in your shop and be like, you need something else, right? So I build this plaque. I'm sitting there. And I'm like, it needs a border. It needs to have like some kind of nice hardwood around oh, it or something. Aesthetic enhancements. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, like... I actually, a uh, long time ago, I made like 300 ornaments for Christmas, and I had these cutouts um, that have the 3M stuff on both sides, and I have okay. a drawer just full of these things. So, like, when I find uh, different, you know, elements, I can have, like, I don't want to say levitate, but, like, raise above the actual material. I, I tend to use those to apply, you know, a patch or something. It gives it a nice 3D effect, and I have this going on throughout this entire thing. And I'm sitting there, I'm staring at it, and I'm like, hmm, I just used um, some hardwood on another project, and I think I have the perfect amount of scrap. So I'm starting to put it around. It's really starting to come together. It's fitting. It's the right, you know, width, height, everything. And the last piece is too small. I have three out of the four pieces I need. Don't have any more of that material. And wow. the last is, so now I have this idea, I need to have this border on there. Like it's going to happen. Like it, I have to have it, but now I have to cut down some material to go ahead and do it. And I do use some nice cherry you had kind of given a nice border and I, they not, they did not ask for it, but it was one of those things where like, even when I gave it to them, I'm like, Hey, I know you didn't ask for this and that, but I thought it looked better. And like, that's where I think we all succeed, right? Being able to take a look at something make it just a little bit better, not, you know, exaggerate it too much and give them a product they are both ple uh, pleased with because they designed it, but something they went a little further and kind of went above and beyond. Except, and I'm going to bring Nap into the story when he's doing his thing, but um, he shows me a design of a layout that he's about to engrave. Now, I pride myself on some of this uh, layout stuff and, you know, been doing graphic design for a very long time and kind of can i think i know what people like visually right so i'm like hey switch this around make it like this and he shows me and it's like perfect i'm like great it's visually pleasing everything's kind of equal and balanced and he shows the client the two images <laughs> which you know he loved the first one kudos on him right but like I was like just taken aback. Like usually, you know, I can pretty much nail um, a design choice like that, but not that time. So, a little insight into this last week. Sometimes you just gotta wait and let Listen, the universe decide. I love yep. when the customer tells me exactly um, what they want. However, comma when I ask other clarifying questions and I don't get an answer. It drives me up a damn wall. Like that's where I was you. Like, uh, I was like, "Hey, that's sir, where you take liberties." Well, no, this particular thing I can't really take liberties. I need his things to put inside this shadow box, and I'm like, "Hey, um, sir, um, can I go pick the things up?" Two days later, "Hey, sir, can I can I get the things? <laughs> I haven't gotten the things yet, so uh, I don't think he's gonna have anything in this thing unless I set it up the day of his retirement. So, which I can totally do. Not a big deal. I just I'd rather not. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I don't like. I don't know about you. Like I like to have. Like if somebody's giving me something to use in a box like that, like I will get all the absolute measurements that I can ahead of time because I don't like guessing. Like if somebody says, "Yeah, this is good. I'm going to put a watch in here," like I want to know all the exact dimensions of that watch. Bell. You know. Yeah, Josh. <laughs> Answer Matt in the chat. Oh, God. Hey, Josh, where are my blast gates at, homie? 
It's time for a giveaway, everybody. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be giving away hey, don't Greg worry. from we'll... Platte Valley Woodworks Leaf Shape Catch All Tray. And no, no, we're not avoiding a question. We're yep. trying to be generous and give something away. No, we're not Choose a number. Away. Yeah, well, it's already been chosen. I think uh, Joey, well, Joey has a number in there. He's got seven. I know it's probably not what this is for, but because it's a random number in there, it's already there. I'm going to use it. All right. And Shop seven one. it is. Yeah, and spin that way up. Look at it spin. It's okay. What product? Oh, oh. Matt joins. Yeah. Wow. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. And wouldn't you know it to land right back on him so we can go right back into that question? Yeah. What about my blast gates, though? <laughs> it's in a box. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Hey, honestly, okay, I, I'm not, I, I'm gonna be real with you guys. It's just a like, postage stamp away. All you gotta you're not lying. <laughs> that was definitely not what was. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> it's fine though. It worked out great because yeah, we're back to Matt now. And hey, Matt, you know I will say though, had he sent those to me right away, it would have taken me a minute to get all that stuff installed. Uh, however. I do need to uh, make one of those contraptions that you made for your dust catch on your filter. Oh, Greg, thank you. But yes. Hey. Mm -hmm. but yeah. We do ask, right, when right. you guys receive your prizes, go ahead and make a post about them. Um, this was, give, all these were given from people that are busy and are doing this out of their own time. And uh, we really highly appreciate it. So make sure you give them a shout out. All right, what so. else we got left to give? Because we're gonna give another one. Because we're okay. Let's give a mallet away. Let's pull up a. Ooh, look at this one. Really long. Pull, pull up. All right, here we go. Ready? I'm just gonna click it a bunch of times. See me. Okay. AJ asked for 500. That's not quite 500. That's but maybe like 20. That's 499. <laughs> but still. But still. There we go. I don't have my seats back yet. Joey's. In the mail. Holy crap. <laughs> I can make a win. Okay. Damn. That's really Well, he hard. is a patron. There's two entries. <laughs> No, nope. pays to be a patron. And I shuffled like crazy, so uh, he's a lucky, uh, lucky patron. The wackinator is lucky. The oh, wait, hold on, hold on, now. hold on. Hey, he's pulling a real duck. He's pulling a real ducky right now. All right, leave ducky alone. But listen, I'm gonna tell you something. If there was orca abrasives, though, ducky would win them all. <laughs> <laughs> he does like the sandpaper. He did show me his stash too. I think it was yeah. It was... All right, so. I'm a serious so, grit guy. I don't know what you guys use, but I like serious grit. But that wasn't crazy. I want 500. Okay, so check it out. You guys go to talk. I'm gonna click 500 times. Okay. Okay. So our next giveaway. Let's do. Please talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> let's do Ed, his French or Ed, sorry, Oak Ridge Woodworks, French cleat sandpaper organizer. Let's do the organizer decks. I like giving stuff away. We do this more often, like every month. Every month. We don't have that kind of budget yet. We need more Patreons. <clears throat> you know, that's the thing, tell too. Your, like, uh, tell your friends. <laughs> tell your friends. Switch to advanced mode. You can't handle it, advanced now. You can't. Too advanced. Handle it. Nope. I said advanced. Is like, I clicked. I was like, nope. I'm not messing this up. I'm not messing this up at all. And AJ's like, not 400, not 600, but 500. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. Um, that's too but bad. All right. What are we giving away next? Uh, we're giving away the sandpaper organizer donated by Oak Ridge Woodworks. All right, ready? Hey. Here we go. Duffy's gonna win it in three, two. I can't say that because if he wins it, it's gonna look like if we, dude, I no shot, <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, you all saw me quit the shuffle a lot of times. There's no all shot it. that worked out. Oh my god. <laughs> no more calling I people. I knew it. I, I just I freaking knew it. 
I need you to say Tim is going to win the lottery. Can you say that, please? Okay, but 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 you all saw that in the chat. You saw I clicked the shuffle a bunch of times. And I was just completely <laughs> speaking out of my butt. There. I was like, watch stuff, he's gonna win. And well, he did. Turns out an app is an employee of Wheel of Names. <laughs> <laughs> so uh let's go ahead and give a mallet away yeah all right all right so all right Greg, you're gonna win this mallet there bud here we go i'm gonna go shuffle a bunch more times i don't know how long we've been talking for let's find that out well we're at 57 minutes right now right now and here we go we can yak huh, yeah, gonna win the lottery. thank you okay thank for you. a minute there i was like <laughs> okay and do you want another mallet? It's the same style. Or do you want a square mallet? I'll give you the choice. It's up to you. I mean, you never go wrong with mallets in the shop. I mean, well, right now he has two round ones. I want to see if he wants to. Keeping back of like who gets a round one, who gets a square one? Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. Because so once we're giving him people, a second. Once for beating the projects, and you know, <laughs> he's a mallet winning fool. Uh, square. square, okay, we'll give you a square, man. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Square. All right, so how many more things do we have left? Because this is obviously a little bit longer of an episode, but I also want to give away a lot of the stuff so when we get to the end, we only have one more to give. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to. So let's see, uh, we have my sign three mallet, three mallets left, your sign, Tim's, um, curvage board. Um, we have, let me scroll up here. I'm literally looking around for like stuff to give away. I think that's it. Yep. That's a uh, cribbage <laughs> board, your sign, and three more mallets. Does anybody want a wooden mustache? A wooden mustache? <laughs> mustache wise? So, well, no, it's the other half of the mustache I made for the clock. I mean, we could donate my cup. <laughs> There you go. All right, folks. So this one's going to be for uh, my sign. And spin. spin. <laughs> and Nap wins his sign. He made his oh. sign for a shop. <laughs> and Mark. <laughs> and figure out what you want your shop sign to look like, bud. Heck yeah. We we'll call it the nap sign. It'd be nap Here's your yeah. sign. Okay, let's give away a mallet. A mallet. A, a mallet. A mallet. That's how you. That's how you start fights. By the way, is pronouncing words like intentionally wrong. So it's fast to speak. Like it's not an avocado. It's an avocado. Oh wow. my god! I, my wife would murder you. It's not. Guacamole, it's guacamole. And it's Ed. No, it's Joey. Joe, Joey! Joey, you want a piece of wood? Let's go! All right. You spelled Joey's name wrong. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah, you did. Mm. <laughs> Way to go, Rockstar. He loves that. I know he does. Okay. Let's give away Tim's Brown Maple Cribbage Board. So let me talk about it for you, friends. What I'm going to do is like... Obviously, this is nope. my wife's. Nope. Nope. But I'll do whatever design you want in there. Right on the back. Comes. <laughs> Sorry. I'll talk about it later when you're not having your moment. No, go ahead, man. I think it was an accident to spin, but I mean, he <laughs> won, so. He was trying to stop it. <laughs> I couldn't. There's no stop. Someone someone jumped no earlier. Stop. They were like, he's got his finger on the button under the table. Like, I, there is no button to stop it. I can't do that. <laughs> if you figure out an advanced mode, maybe there is. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm going to get crucified if I don't fix this. Go ahead, uh, uh, Tim. Go ahead and talk about your uh, yeah. storage board, dude. Oh. So, like, unlike the folding one, this is just like a... 120 peg hole cribbage no. board. I Are you, s- you serious? That's, that's not meant for anything. This, that, nope, that does, this is for nothing. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for that. Continue. 
Wait, uh, he. I don't know what's going on. We've lost all control over everything. Uh... All right, Tim, talk about your trip, man. Sorry. Just <laughs> so, so like epoxy and like, so like whatever you want, I can add the color and whatnot. But like, so the back, um, this one doesn't have a magnet, but I, all the other ones, I put like a magnet in there so the pegs and things don't fall out. And I like the insert, by the way. I do like that. That's not an insert. I just taped it off and sprayed it black. Seriously? Yeah. Bro, that's... I legit thought you put an insert in there. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it does so... look like inserts. It'd be a lot easier if I print, printed an insert and stuck it in there, but it'd be a lot less screwing around. But I mean, I just put like four magnets in there so like hmm. shit doesn't fall out everywhere. And they're like, this, I mean, I don't use this style cover anymore because this wasn't the greatest. Maybe I will. Anyway, it's just like wood with magnets. So it holds it all in place. Nice. How much is a custom one of those? Well, like without anything on it, hundred bucks. Like how about, the amount of work that goes in. Well, about one that? with a North Country Woodworking logo on it. Well, it depends on how complex it is, but I mean, I really don't know. I I have not thought of this as a product yet. You know what I mean? Like in other words, like I know that at base price, like this is a hundred, but like to add like the graphics and the inlay and the epoxy and whatnot, I really have no way of how to price that. So make well, me we'll talk. <laughs> but I mean, one yeah, million really dollars. Oh man, do you get the billion dollars? Okay, so we have two melts. The next one will line up is square. Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, Stan handed this and this. And he, yeah, he's, he gives himself like so much crap, like for his like. I wish I could have done this. Like, no, man. Like, I like I like the, Dude, the that's hand wicked, burn. man. Like, I, I I chose the mallet from our hundredth because of the the hand the hand burning on the bottom of my mallet. So, well, to be fair, you tried to steal my wallet one. I did Walnut that. One. I did. I did try to steal that because I really liked it, and he almost left it at my house in San Antonio. It was almost mine. That's, Almost. He, he, when he tried to give me too many drinks, so I'd forget it. But no. Yeah, exactly. That's that's how you do that, right? I know where I put my wood. <laughs> Anyways, alrighty then. This is what I have to work with, folks. These two. Well, you know, jabronis. You, you you wanted this, so I did. <clears throat> I asked for it specifically. <laughs> All right, for we got two more mallets and then one more bigger giveaway. Let's go do. Two more quick rolls. We did not space yourself very well, did we? <laughs> no, oh, we random. definitely got we got on the okay. Listen, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> My man's gonna have more wood. Ed's, okay? Ed is the new ducky. <laughs> <laughs> so Ed, uh which one do you want? <laughs> Square or round? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you just give him a gift card. It's up to him. I can't deny the guy. Spin again. Spin all again. Right. You're the man. Thank you. I was like, how do you what a guy. All the... Stop winning the wood. Oh, wait. Oh. oh. oh Anita! Oh, Anita. Oh, Anita, you won a <laughs> She'll, she'll so reply. Fast, it's not like I won't watching right now. I, I guess we're just... We, we killed it. All right, so I need a warm I think your YouTube is broken because mine probably is 17. All Who right. cares? We're having fun. We're giving stuff away. We have another round mallet. Another I need to win again. Yep. <laughs> no. Yeah, Was yeah. It, uh, she don't I win. I, she, she won one other time, I think. Yeah, but also. Uh, uh, on the Saturday morning cartoons, uh, Anita Watt is on there, and uh, they go, "I need a color." So yeah. Joe is saying he needs an- I need another win. Something oh like yeah! <laughs> I've watched that a minute. I got to get back on watching that. All right, here we go. Last mallet, uh, last mallet, if you will. Mallet. And... Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Scotty yeah. leg. 
Congrats, all you winners. Thanks for joining us. We're out. All right, see. That... Oh, wait a minute. No, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, all right. So check it out. We've gone through all of the maker gifts. And first and foremost, again, thank you for all the makers that contributed to the maker giveaway. Um, out of theme, though, um, our biggest sponsor, uh, PWNC and C, uh, was gracious enough to donate two hundred dollars oh. from their website uh, for our two hundredth episode. Ha <laughs> ha! I see what you did there, right? And uh, yeah. the lucky winner will receive said two hundred dollars uh, off of anything in their shop. Uh, so whether it be a spindle, water cool, air cool spindle kit. Our system, sorry, uh, an ATC system, anything out of his shop, you can get that two hundred dollars off. Uh, once we figure out who wins, he will then get with whomever wins, and we'll figure out the details of whether it's going to be an actual gift card. He's going to send you a code. We'll get all that stuff uh, nailed down. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle this thing a bunch of times. Okay. Uh, this will be the last giveaway, and then we'll get ready to do some parting shots, just because. Um, this Are you fun. willing to shuffle 20 times? I can, in fact. Oh. For our 200th episode, we'll do it 20 times. All right, here we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. While he's doing that, um, after this, we're going to be wrapping up the episode. Uh, again, thank you, everyone that joined us, uh, the Patreons, one. the people that sponsored the prize. But I ask you to get some kind of something to drink. Ready because we're gonna do a little quick toast at the end. We're hoping that you can join us. So when you're ready, spin that wheel. And and cut feet. Victor. Mr. <laughs> Victor Congratulations, sir. That was the final prize on this giveaway. We appreciate all of you joining us. And I'm out. I mean, what? So no, the reason I, I was laughing that. on that, because Victor's yeah. been saving up for ATC. Um, so this all goes toward that. That's awesome. Very well, I'm going to cool, go ahead man. and stop sharing my See, screen now. The stars have aligned with you, Vic. Victor's uh, star You know, sometimes we all need a little bit of good news in our lives, so... Congratulations, man. Oh, yeah. All right. So, hey, listen, everyone, um, we do really appreciate all of the uh, donations to the giveaway. Uh, it was something a little different. Uh, I thought it was pretty awesome. Um, next biggest giveaway will be episode 250. Uh, you know, when we get there, it'll be, it'll be a little while. Uh, it might be my next base by then. Who knows? So much changes. But I think we'll go ahead and go around the room and do the old final words. Uh, starting with Tim. Well, thank you guys as always. I mean, I wasn't here for all 200 episodes, but I am here now and I'm really, really proud to be a part of this. And you guys joining us definitely make that mean a lot more to me. So this is a huge thank you to all the patrons, to you, Josh, to you, Nap. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what's coming next. Them cops. That's who's coming next. Them <laughs> cops. These giveaways are so hot, they're arresting us. Yeah. Uh, I have to go next real quick because I know Josh wants to do his toast, and I think it's only fitting that the uh, the founder of this podcast ends our 200th episode. So uh, I do really appreciate everything everyone's done for us thus far between patrons, Daniel, Peter, and CNC, and then folks that we just interacted with over the time. There are a lot of times where – uh, I'm very quiet. Like I don't talk to the maker chat all the time, but some days it's like, hey, I need to go talk to these knuckleheads. They make me feel a hell of a lot better sometimes, especially when I have a really crappy day. Um, especially Stan, you know, Stan has this weird way of acting like the older brother you never wanted. I mean, no, Stan, <laughs> no, but, um, but seriously, like, I think, uh, this is what makes the community awesome is the fact that we all can mess with each other and just be fine with it, you know? And, um, look out for each other but on that continue to look out for each other my son's behind me creepily ah, hi buddy um that's appropriate though yeah he's been part of the podcast as long as you have yeah uh, but no i appreciate all of you keep helping each other keep making the community stronger 
And uh, Josh, I'm going to turn it over to you, bud, because I don't want to take too many words. I'm going to let you finish this one up. It's going to be simple. Thank you to everybody that made 200 episodes possible. Our Patreons, our hosts. Um, thank you, AJ. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nap. Thank you, Tim. Thank you to all of our special guests over the years, our sponsors. If you were a sponsor, our sponsor. If you watch our lives, if you don't, and you listen to the podcast, if you're a part of it, you, you're truly a part of the community that we've tried to build here. Um, will we make it to 300? Only time will tell. Um, it's been both rewarding and challenging to get to 200. Um, life is, isn't always easy, but we end up making it here every week to get together, to talk, sawdust, wood, and everything in between. So with that, I raise my cup to you guys and everyone out there. Here's to many more. Go make some sawdust. Cheers. Cheers, Sawdust Nation. Cheers. Ah! And sawdust Nation out. Hey, why do you have the final word? It's like we should all have the final word. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Sawdust Nation. Sawdust Nation. Nation. Ah. Hey, wait, hold on. Didn't you guys try this? Do this a long time ago, and like you guys could never get on the same page. I think it was, it was you, AJ, and Nick. And you guys would do yeah. it like every time. You're like, can we just get on the same page? We've only done this a million times. I would always have to line up the audios at the end because Nick would just be like either a second too fast or a second too slow. But. Well, yeah. well, All right, that. Guys. Appreciate y'all, right. and we will see you next week, patrons. Have a good night. Yeah. Thank good you. night. Godspeed.